you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello YouTube, it is Farmhand Mike and I am just south of Minot, North Dakota out here with a family farm as they are seeding their 2021 canola crop. This farm has a whole bunch of versatile tractors from all different eras, but in this video you're going to see them seeding with their big versatile 550 tractor with the triples you see in the lead there and behind that is a versatile 2425 tractor. The versatile 550 you see in the lead there is pulling a 50 foot wide John Deere hoe drill with a 1910 tow behind air commodity cart. That is a three tank cart behind there. They are hauling seed in one tank and fertilizer in another. Behind the versatile 2425 tractor is a 40 foot John Deere hoe drill with another 1910 cart. This is a two tank tow behind air commodity cart. And again, they are carrying their seed and their fertilizer in that cart. The John Deere 1910 tow behind air commodity cart comes in a two or three tank option according to John Deere's website and you see here this farm has one of each. These are made nearby at John Deere's plant in Valley City, North Dakota which is just off Interstate 94 west of Fargo. If you're going down Interstate 94 when you come up on the Valley City exit you will see the John Deere plant on the north side of the interstate. Canola is seeded at a rate of approximately 4 pounds to 6 pounds of seed per acre. I just had another canola seeding video on my YouTube channel prior to this one just west of Minot, North Dakota, showing a new versatile 610 Delta Track tractor pulling a 60 foot wide Burgo hoe drill with a 950 bushel Burgo cart behind that. If you have not seen that video, definitely go back and check that out or I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one. Canola can be grown almost anywhere. You do see it in the southern United States. I've seen it down in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and so forth. But you start getting up into the Dakotas, Montana, so forth, the western Canadian prairies, you see a lot more of it. It has been very, very dry here in North Dakota. Provided they get the timely needed rains, this crop will be harvested sometime in August. Canola is harvested with a combine. There's a couple different ways to do it. For many years, they would come in with a swather and they would mow it down and let the canola crop lay in a windrow as it could shatter very easily and you could get a lot of crop loss. After it laid on the ground and dried for a little bit, they would come in with a combine with a pickup header and harvest it that way. However, in the last several years, they have come out with new varieties of canola where it can be direct cut with a combine. I do have videos back on my YouTube channel from years ago of them harvesting canola both ways up in Manitoba, Canada. I posted those videos two years ago while I was up in Manitoba. You should be able to just get on my YouTube channel here and do a search for canola harvest and find those videos. I have one of each, one where they're using the pickup headers on the combine, another one where there's four combines direct cutting it. This video is a little over 30 minutes long. It's a little bit lengthy, but with two big tractors in the field and the landscape changing, it was hard to leave here without shooting more footage. I got lots of good aerial shots, on the ground shots, so I hope everyone has time to watch this entire video. And who knows if everything works out fine, might be able to get back here and catch these guys on video harvesting their canola, where they'll be using their new versatile 260 tractor on their grain cart. But hey, before I quit talking and turn this video over to the sound of the machines, let's talk about the Versatile 2425 tractor you see right here. These were built at the Versatile factory in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada from 2002 to 2008. At that time, this was Versatile's biggest four-wheel drive tractor. These were powered with a Cummins N14 turbocharged diesel engine that is 14 liters in size or 855 cubic inches rated at approximately 425 engine horsepower. You could get these tractors with either a synchronized transmission or a 12 speed full power shift twin disc transmission. After 2008, when the 2425 was discontinued, Versatile came out with the HHT series tractors, which was the high horsepower tractors or large frame rated at 435, 485, 535, and then later the 575 tractor. 
Those were all Tier 3 engines in those tractors. After that, the 550 you see in this video, of course I've talked about a lot of those in past videos, you could get those in either wheeled or Delta Track version. But the 550 you see here was manufactured again in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Between 2012 to 2017, where the 550 was later replaced with the Model 570. The 550 tractor is powered with a Cummins QSX 15 liter engine that is 14.9 liters in size or 912 cubic inches. These were rated at 550 engine horsepower with a peak horsepower rating of 591. These tractors have a CAT TA22 full power shift transmission with 16 forward and 4 reverse gears. You can get these tractors with either standard flow hydraulics or high flow. Standard flow would put out approximately 53 gallons per minute where the high flow models were rated at 106 gallons per minute. You could also get these with 4 hydraulic remotes or 6. These guys don't always run both tractors in the very same field side by side, but they said they'd do it for a little bit since they were going to be on camera. So we got to give these guys a thanks for working with me, and I got some great shots of both tractors closing in on a different field towards the end of this video.
And the operator of the 2425 Versatile was stopping for fertilizer and was nice enough to climb down in the tank and show us what canola seed looks like. As you can see, it's pretty tiny.
And see, not everything works out perfect on the farm. Someone's still going to have to come back and seed that partial strip. That's going to do it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was a little bit lengthy, but there was a lot of action here. Feel free to hit that like button and comment below. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and check back often. Still a lot of good farming content coming to the Farmhand Mike YouTube channel. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for tuning in and supporting my social media.